uh, this next Ludwig metal drum I'm going to show you is another brass drum that I that I picked up uh, just a couple of years ago. I wasn't looking for a snare drum, but there was a blowout sale going on, and I just wandered into the store. And this particular Ludwig snare drum, uh, very beautiful, very pretty. Uh, this was on the showroom, so it was like a was a showroom model. So it had been kind of out there, used a little bit of dust on it and stuff. And uh, it was already on sale, and I asked the guy after I played it, um, could I buy it? And he said, yeah, as long as there wasn't one in the stock room, he said. So, and fortunately for me, there wasn't another one back there. I think this was the last one that they had, or I'm not sure if they were ordering them. But this was the only one in the store, and I was able to get it at, at even more of a discount than it was already on. So I think I only paid uh, like maybe $300 for this drum. Uh, a lot of the Ludwig drums, they come, it looks like they're coming off of the same, I know that they use like one metal sheet to form the drum. You know, they just cut it, they, it's measured and cut and then it's formed into the drum. And they all have this, uh, they all have this bar going across the middle of the drum, which I always found uh, interesting and maybe a trademark. But this is brass, but it's a mirrored polish. And this is also from North Carolina. Yep. And C. And again, I'm using the strings, and I put 32 strands, snares on this. Uh, this has a similar tone or sound as the Black Beauty, but uh, not as. Um, it's a little less rigid, I'd say, if that's not the proper word. Uh, there's something different about this tune, and maybe it's because the Black Beauty has the nickel uh, plating going around the in inside and outside of the drum. It probably makes a difference. Um, but uh, let me play this for you. It's different. Snappier.
nice drum. Really nice. Uh, I'm glad I picked it up. I had no intention of doing so, but what's one more sneak?